Today marked the end of the road for one of the world's most iconic cars. And who better to celebrate the Beetle than longtime VW owner, Don Daler. It wasn't just any car that rolled off the assembly line in Puebla, Mexico today. It was the last of its kind. The Beetle is an unlikely automotive classic, spanning eight decades with sales totaling more than 23 million. It was conceived by Adolf Hitler and designed by Ferdinand Porsche as the Volkswagen, or people's car, to reinvigorate Nazi Germany's economy and make the country mobile. The Type 1, its official name, became famous for its durability, ease of maintenance, and while there's no other way to put it, cuteness. This is a beauty. Yeah, 1962 convertible. Chris Vallone of Congress, New York, runs perhaps the last shop in the world dedicated solely to restoring bugs. What is it about the bug that, that appealed to you? That happy look on his face. It's got a face when you look at it, right? It's got the little smile, that bumper there. In the 60s, the Beetle became a symbol for the counterculture. Over the years, Volkswagen embraced the car's quirkiness in a series of ads, touting its diminutive size. With only two redesigns over its lifetime unheard of in the car industry, no. the Beetle never lost its personality, starring in movies and even recent TV shows. But look at the turn signal. Holy mackerel! The end of the Beetle marks a turning point for Volkswagen, which now sees its future in electric cars. So for many who grew up loving this car, including me, I still own the 67 Bug my parents bought new, it is with a sense of melancholy to say they just don't make them like that anymore. Don Daler, CBS News, New York.